Hamish Dodd joins us now at the cafe. Good to see you back again, Hamish. No, Alex, just you. No, no, quite nice, really, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, apparently he's with Colin Matthew and Jeffrey um, interviewing fashionable socialite mm. pretty people. Uh, absolutely um, fabulous, I'm yes. clearly not, so mm. I'm here. Yeah. Sorry about yeah. that. Have you been seeing all his posts on Facebook? Highly annoying. I think yes, we need to yes, block yes. him for a little while. Block, block, block. Yeah, so what have you got for us today then? <laughs> okay, well, so we're going to talk concrete floors and a little bit about sealing them and preparing them. They're um, highly fashionable at the moment, right. uh, especially in new builds. We're seeing a lot of them. And uh, there are a lot of options when it comes to them. Uh, there was a period where everyone wanted to add a lot of oxide to their floors. And what uh, that to try and make, Well, that's to make them darker grey or black and lighten them up. Uh, you've got to be careful when you start doing that on mass through a house because you, we were getting batch variations them turning up. So when they were finished, you got slight colour differences. Okay. So typically now, um, yes, colour areas for sure, but just be oh, aware yeah. of the scope. Yeah, changing the aggregate is where I prefer to do it because the more you grind the floor, the more of the aggregate you see, therefore the darker the floor gets. And the What's more the aggregate? Up. The aggregate's the stone that goes into it. Okay, so, so you get more grit in it, essentially. Yeah, more grit in it. And you might get, say, a South Island mix, which has got more schist in it and um, maybe quartz, so you get little white flecks. Yeah, and little coloured stones. Yeah, it's like very that. pretty. What is on trend at the moment? Well, on trend at the moment, I would say we're leaving them more natural, so we're just okay. getting the aggregate that turns up with the grey concrete and we're grinding and finishing them off. Some, it, how much you grind them is a personal choice. I prefer more of a light grind myself, mm -hmm. um, and because we, we're in that slightly more dressed up industrial look. So rather than trying to create a terrazzo look to the floor, we may be keeping it a little bit more simple. Okay, so if you're building a new house, this yep. is a good option, but if you're renovating a house, how yes. do you know if you can actually achieve well, a concrete Clearly floor? villas and bungalows are going to be less of the concrete yes. side, um, yep. and unless there are additions being put onto them. Uh, most houses that come in after the 80s, and you know, late 70s, early 80s, 80s, a lot of them had concrete floors through them. So okay. they are reasonable, um, but you, you, you know what? It's like lifting your carpets to check your timber floors. Mm -hmm. You can get surprises. Um, I found cigarette butts and coins that people had obviously thought they'd be funny <laughs> when they laid it. Not so funny for me uh, <laughs> when I recommended it to my client, and I went, oh dear. Uh, it would be a little bit funny, though. Well, it was, you know, it was, it was funny for other people, <laughs> yeah, yeah. other than myself. So do you have to do you have to take back the old concrete, or do you just slop something on top of it? Typically, all the products. So my, you can get all sorts of ways of finishing your concrete. The one I like is resin concrete racks. Why? Because it's easy to do yourself. I've talked to guys who do the other systems. Very specialised, really. Okay, this I did. Wow. When I say Hold I, Can you tell I know, I'm not talking you about a man, a man. I, yeah. I, usually you do, well I did get him, I asked my dad to help me, right. um, but, but the two of us were very efficient, he's very methodical, nice. uh, <laughs> simple thing, yeah. you need to do a light grind first yes. and a lot of washing to get the, don't use sugar soap and stuff because that can leave a residue under the wax, can affect the bonding of the product, okay. so you want to get and scrub it. Now the scrubbing part I did not do, okay. um, I enlisted okay. Anita and my mother to clean That's it four right. times. Baby steps, baby steps. Baby right? steps, yeah. I want to do everything in one hit. You know, <laughs> so the key to it here is you, got, you cut in around your floor edge and use a number four roller to roll it off. Why number four? Um, have no idea. That's right. what the guys at Resine told me, okay. and I asked them. I was That's like, good. "What do I use?" <laughs> yeah, well, I thought you know, get stuck in myself, probably not a great idea. So they said number four. I'm assuming it's the type of roller, right? Uh, and it's the texture on right. the roller. So you put this on. Yeah. This. So I simply got my my wax, and it goes a long way. Nice. Three three coats. Um, I was getting tired after my three coats. It took me a while to finish the last room. Uh, and, and down it goes. It Fantastic wow. things about it. Yes, I mean, that, that's what it looked like when I just finished it. And quickly, wow. just maintenance. You just need to keep topping it hey, up with if that. If you scratch it, you yeah. just go over that area again. Brilliant. And wow. it, it works well in kitchens for fat stains and things yeah. like that. You that know. sounds perfect. Just don't be dropping your glassware on it because I would assume no. concrete floor, it's never going to no, work I've very done well, that. is it? Hey, well, Hamish, that's very impressive. And I'm Thank you. I'm proud of you for doing something like I knew you own. would be. <laughs> Good job, Hamish. Good job. Thanks for that. If you'd like to get the look at home, head to resine.co.nz.